Hello guys, um, welcome to this series of advanced J um, JavaScript and PHP pagination tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be doing something a bit more advanced. And it's not going to be like previous tutorials that I am um, continue it from the previous series. This one is going to be a fresh um, series from start, from scratch. Okay. So um, basically what we're going to be looking at is we're going to have a PHP pagination, which also includes Ajax. Um, request to another page. So basically how the thing works is um, Anytime that you click on a link to go to the next page instead of having um, the link appear instantly Everything is in loaded at first when the page loads. So when you click on next page, for example, your script goes to a, another sc um, Script and loads the data from there using Ajax. So basically you will be asking why will you want to use this? Why not just load everything? When the page first loads i'll tell you why basically most data in the real world has lots and lots of rows in them so basically imagine you have a database which has millions of rows right so you wouldn't want to load millions of um rows all in one sql query i mean that would be pretty crazy <laughs> i don't know what kind of computer you would have to do that but uh, all right so basically the idea here is to save memory so we want to load just what we need for example if you go to the third page right the um your script goes to that ajax page and then tells the ajax page i want more data so give me more data all right so likewise when you come to the fourth page your your script goes again to that page and tells it i want more data so that page ajax page specifically will go to the database and just load a set a set of the um, whole data so you just get in the data in chunks and this script will be customizable customizable so that you can say what page you are on and how many items you want on a single page and as you can see we're going to be um doing some really neat stuff like making the page to sleep so that we'll see the effects of the page loading so let me just show you what i mean basically so if you notice if i load if i click on page two you will see a uh, and um, information here saying that the page is loading so you see what I mean all right so next when we click yeah basically that's what I mean so we're doing that using a simulation in PHP call we're calling a function called sleep and then we just say sleep for two seconds just to simulate that um, something is happening in the background and then um, after that it will give us the Ajax string that we need all right so basically that's all we're going to do for this series I mean it's it looks very simple but you might see the um the real benefits once we start getting into um the coding part itself and we're done with it all right so that's it guys um i hope you're looking forward to this series it will be a very quick one and um, i'll see you in the next video all right thanks for watching bye bye